Recently, I've been spending a lot of time doing research about what is the best UI kit for wireframing around the web. In this video, I'm gonna share my results with you and also a little gift. Everybody, what's up? As some of you know, I'm right now I'm working on a course on web design. And as part of that course, I'm looking to get the best UI wireframing kit for my students. And by the way, if you're interested in this course, there's uh, a link in the description that you can register for updates on when it's coming up. Anyway, I've been spending a lot of time doing this research. Now, obviously, I would rather if this UI kit was free, but the best one that I could find, because my focus was on finding the best, not the cheapest, is a premium uh, UI kit that I'm gonna share with you here. I'm also going to share the best free alternative that I could find right now. It is uh, July, 2019. So at this point, what are the best solutions that I could find? I've previously shared that I was working with um, a UI kit that's called Wireland. I've moved away from that. I wanna share you share with you what I've found. So here it is. This one is the best one that I could find. It's called Platforma 2. Um, and basically it's available for Sketch, Figma, Adobe XD. Um, and uh, instead of just showing you, this is their basically landing page. I'm actually going to show you how this looks in Sketch. So if you've ever worked with a UI kit that you know that basically it's based on component that you can just copy and paste to um, structure your pages. So as you can see, we have a bunch of navigation menus, a bunch of types of covers, um, left side content, right side uh, content, center, grids. So just a bunch of components and basically each one of them is copy pastable so that you can go here and then reconstruct um, a kind of a page that you like. And this is obviously a very copy paste fast process. And so what we have here is based on um, desktop resolution and also mobile resolution and also kind of like middle desktop resolution. But here's the interesting kit. Here's the UI kit, which is basically all these are basically symbols that you can now change in order to affect the design and the typography and everything here is so well organized. So basically we have here left and centered text. Um, we have it on white for when we have darker backgrounds and we have here all the typographic style is so well organized that um, let me just show you how quick it is to uh, turn this. Once you've structured this, you might want to turn this into your real design. And now that everything is using um, symbols, it's very, very easy to do. So um, let's say I want to just take on the headlines, turn them into, let's say, a black color and a completely different um, text style. So I'll do that. I'll update the styles. And now all basically all my design will be updated and uh, throughout all the pages that I've designed and obviously I want to change let's say the, the colors so the main color let's change it from this to um, let me choose this main button and uh, change its style to let's pick some some nice color and then update the style and then bang all my design is now with my new color my new typeface and I've basically turn, went from wireframing to uh, final design very, very quickly. So here it is, this is Platforma and I really like how it's organized because, and by the way, this comes in three files. So you have the blueprint, which is what we're seeing right now. We also have a dark theme and a light theme. Um, so it's very, it's just, even when you get started with it, even before you touch anything, it already looks good because the typography is well set and all the layout is really, really nice. So it's really helpful to get you started on, let me undo all the changes that I've made here. Um, it really gets you off in the right uh, foot, I think, to get a good design and, and work really quickly and efficiently. Um, so I like that. And again, I really like how the UI kit is organized here, all the colors. So they've already set up, for example, gradients here. So um, imagine that I'd want to bring in let's say an image here, right? I'll do kind of a background image or something. And then I'd want to, I'd want to give it some kind of a gradient overlay. So I can just turn that 
go to um, maybe styles or the gradients, so a lighter gradient or darker gradient, and it's just going to do this image overlay, which is so common, and when you have that set up in your sketch file um, or whatever software that you're using so fast, it makes your design process so much easier. So um, basically, this is it. I really, really love this one um, since I got it. And this one is actually, let me go down here. So the one I'm using, I'm only using it for the web. So this one costs $68. And uh, basically, I reached out to um, the person who created this. Um, they're called, let me see here, um, Great Simple Studio. And I told them that I really um, am interested in sharing this and, and can I get a little discount for my audience. And he was um, gracious enough to give me a coupon code for 30% off um, and so you can check the coupon code in the description if you're trying to get platforma you can get it for 30 percent off that's really really awesome of Yura. thank you so much for uh, allowing my audience to enjoy this benefit um, the uh, the best alternative free alternative that i could find at the moment is actually envisions um, it's called form their ui kit and basically you can just you know put your email here and uh, download um, it for free I'll show you how it looks. Basically, it also includes a lot of a lot of content. Here, there there are organized all the all the sizes. So, like uh, tablet, mobile, and desktop on the same on the same uh, artboards. So it's a little bit more confusing, but there's still a lot of content here um, that you can do and use. Uh, basically, it's the same principle and structure. Here's the UI kit. Here's the fonts. And, uh, but as you can see, it's a little bit thinner and uh, lacks a little bit of the nice add-ons and, and complexity that we have in the platforma. So it's, it's a little bit more basic, but again, this one is free and it's still very valuable and it's still, you can really use it to um, do your wireframing process that much faster. So good work Envision. Thank you for sharing that for free with the, um, you know, with the community, obviously I would, I imagine that they're trying to get people on Envision Studio. So I don't know why this does not include, maybe it's pre-built into Envision Studio. Um, but again, if you're not using Envision Studio and maybe you're working on Figma, then uh, the fact that Platforma has on whatever platform, you know, Adobe XD or, or whatnot, um, it's amazing to have kind of like uh, cross-platform UI kit. So I think that's really, really important. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about these UI kits? Have you tried them? What are, what are your thoughts? Are they missing anything or the reason why you're liking them? Um, for me, after a long research, I do find, feel like I've found a really good solution that works for my process and that I also I can recommend to my students. So we'd love to hear what you're thinking about this. Talk to you in the next video.